Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 7 without CSF. Let's get started. First things first, download the ISO. And second things, download Rufus which will help burn the ISO to the USB drive. Who wants installed, open up Rufus, type it in the search bar and open it up. Then let's select. Select the ISO image, in my case, I will be in the downloads folder. Now, select the partition scheme to be NBR and the target system to be BIOS or the 5CSM. File size, file system should be NTFS. Once everything checks out, hit start and click OK on the warnings. Then wait patiently as Rufus burns the ISO to USB drive. Once Rufus is done, close the application and restart your computer. Enter the boot menu, it depends on each motherboard, in my case, the F8. Once you have entered the setup, press Shift F10 on your keyboard. Then type in setup.exe slash no reboot. Then go to your setup as normal. Now it will redirect you back to the command prompt. Type in this part to the command prompt and hit enter. Then type in list disk. Select the disk that contains the partition. If you don't know which, can, which disk contains the partition, select one of the disks on your computer and type in list volume. If you have found a volume with 100 megabytes in size and a FAT32 file system, then that is the boot partition. In case if you know where your boot partition is, select the disk that contains the boot partition, in my case it will be disk 1, and then type in the list volume and select volume 2, which is the boot partition. Then type in a sign letter L. Then type in exit. Type in Notepad, click on File, and click Save As. Then click on this PC. Click on your boot drive, in my case, it will be letter L. Click on the EFI folder, click on Microsoft Boot, and scroll down. Make sure you have all files viewed. Scroll down to where it says boot mgfw.efi. Click on rename and rename it to boot mgfw.original.efi. I'll put the text up on the screen so you can see how it's typed out. Then click enter. Then click on this PC and click on your 
In my case, it will be the E drive. Click on the UFI 7 folder and copy the boot slash 64.UFI file. Then go back to the boot partition, EFI, Microsoft, and boot. Paste the file in the folder. Then exit out the folder and you go back in. You should see the file there. Rename the file to boot mgfw.efi. Once you've done that, exit out Notepad and the command prompt. Exit out the Setup 2 and click Yes. This will restart your computer and you should be able to boot into Windows 7. And look at that, Windows 7 has now been installed. Type in your username and you can select the password if you want. Then go through the setup and click finish. And now Windows 7 has fully installed. I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you.